So what does box calf leather mean? Let's get into it. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. It's been a little while since we had a Let's Talk Leather video and I'm really excited to present this one to you today. Today we're going to be discussing box calf leather, what it is, where it comes from, how it's treated, and of course, who uses it. I have my Delvo Briant MM in the beautiful black box calf. I have a review on this bag, I will link it for you. And I have my Kelly 32 in blue jean, my gosh, in also box calf leather. This bag is from 1998. It is a vintage Hermes Kelly, and this bag is from 2017. These bags are both in box calf leather. It's a beautiful leather. You can see how sleek and glossy it is. Like, look at that shine. But what is box calf leather? Like, what does it mean? So these bags are made out of box calf. So what? Let's talk about it. Now, box calf leather is generally used as a way to describe premium calfskin leather, and it actually got its name from Joseph Box, a shoemaker in the 1890s. He was one of many people who used the leather to make luxury and designer shoes, which is often what box calf is used for. If you're a handbag lover like I am, you're probably watching this video because you've heard about box calf leather from brands such as Hermes box calf, Delvo box calf, Celine, Gucci. A lot of these brands use box calf like as a term for bags that they make, but it's also often Often very used as a shoe leather. Now the term box calf can get a little bit confusing because while some people use it to describe a premium calf skin that's been treated a certain way, sometimes people use it to describe just leather that's been chrome tanned or chrome treated, and so it can be a little bit confusing as like a marketing term. Generally though, when a brand says that their bag is made out of box calf leather or their shoes are made out of box calf leather, they're referring to the premium quality calf skin that it is made out of. So what is box calf leather exactly? Well, first of all, it is calf skin. It is leather made from young calf. Cows. The thing about calf skin in contrast to cowhide is that cowhide is an older skin, obviously, and so it has a, it's generally thicker and it's also very fibrous. It's it's tougher. And so it is very good for like quality work boots. It's good for like genuine full grain leather bags that are really like beat around. Like my vintage coach bags are full grain uh, cowhide and they're beautiful. It's thick leather, but it is a rougher, tougher material. And so calf skin is sometimes easier to work with too, where cowhide is thicker and, and hardier. They both can be excellent quality, of course. It depends on the hide itself. It depends on how the leather is treated and tanned and, and colored. But generally when we're talking about calf skin versus cowhide, those are the differences that we're talking about. The skin from younger cows is tighter and firmer and also much more likely to keep its shape over time versus older cows, which are sometimes more durable because they're tougher, they're aged, but they're also often prone to sagging, warping, the veining that you might see in certain full grain cow skins. Those are much less often to be found in high quality calf hides. Now box calf, besides from being calf skin, the box refers to how the leather is treated and dyed. Box calf is aniline dyed leather, which is a dye that permeates the leather all the way through. That's sometimes one of the reasons why you see a lot of dark colored box calf bags, such as my Delvo. The Delvo is a dark colored box calf bag. Now box calf can be made in a variety of beautiful colors, including lighter colors as evidenced by my Blue Jean Kelly, but box calf originally especially was mostly darker bags because that was what we had the technology technology, that's what we had the, the science to make. We had the ability to make leather hides darker as opposed to now we have the ability to lighten leather hides first before we dye them. But anything that has been aniline dyed has been dyed all the way through the le so the leather is permeated completely with the dye. This creates a beautiful uniform finish that will patina very nicely and often acquires a glossy sheen. So if you'll notice here with my Delvo, like it catches the light absolutely beautifully. It's got this beautiful glossy sheen. And the same for my Kelly bag, obviously, you'll notice that generally when you see box calf, it reflects the light very well. And the older box calf is, for instance, with my Hermes Kelly from 1998, it's got this absolutely gorgeous patina. Just very, very shiny, very, very beautiful, very glossy, and that's just going to get better with time. Now, one of the downsides of aniline dyed leather, especially box calf, because it's so smooth that it is prone to scratches. You can see scratches more easily on a smooth leather with a 
glossy finish because the scratches are more visible. That being said, box cap is also durable in that way and that a lot of scratches are much easier to buff out. As long as you're not gouging into the leather, you just have a surface scratch, buffing out the scratch is going to make it a lot less visible. You probably won't completely erase the scratch and again, deeper scratches are going to be more visible and harder to hide, but generally buffing out a scratch on something like a box cap is much more easy to disguise or buff away than in say a grain leather where the scratch kind of destroys the leather grain itself and so it can't really be disguised or repaired. Now the thing about aniline finishing and one of the reasons that box cap is so highly coveted in the luxury world and it is sort of like an accolade to be using box cap leather is that aniline dyeing really does magnify defects or imperfections because it creates a smooth like matte to shiny surface any defects any pock marks in the leather any scratches any scores any stretch marks are going to be magnified and so when you have a beautiful smooth box cap leather you really are showcasing some of the highest quality grade leathers that there is that's one of the reasons that so many vintage Hermes bags are made of box cap and why it was one of the heritage leathers that Hermes originally used. It's a beautiful, rich, smooth leather and utilizing it showcases the quality and craftsmanship of the brand utilizing it. Now, in terms of how box cap leather is most often used in luxury bags, you're often going to find box cap in a stiff, structured bag. For instance, my Delvo has a lot of structure. It's very sturdy, stiff bag, and you'll often see it in Hermes Cellier style, so the structured style with the outside stitching as opposed to the retourné. Now I will say that vintage Hermes bags were made in retourné in box cap. That was because it was their heritage leather. They were making a lot of pieces just in box cap in general, but more often than not when you see a vintage Cellier Hermes, it's going to be in box cap, and it is a highly coveted leather because it is absolutely beautiful. Now the reason that it is usually used in structured bags like this is because box cap tends to rigidity. The way that it has been tanned and then treated in aniline dyed makes it a stiffer leather in general, so it is often used to make structured things, structured bags. Now some people do find this to be a con because, you know, when you have a structured bag like this, it can be a little bit harder to utilize the bag to get in and out. You kind of have to fiddle with it and learn the, the methods of opening and closing the bag. But in my opinion, that's also a pro because this bag is going to obviously stand the test of time. It already has. This is from 1998 and it looks beautiful. Like the structure is immaculate. And so because it was made in box cap, it is much more likely to stand strong for longer periods of time. Like this will last at least another 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 years. I have no doubt about that in my mind. Now one other thing that people do say is a con in box cap is because it is such a stiff leather, people do say that it is prone to creasing. And that can be true, but it also cannot be true. That depends on the batch of the leather itself because some box cap is prone to creasing. It just is, maybe it's a weaker structure or the leather itself was, was treated in a certain way or the, you know, there's a lot of different reasons why a leather might be more or less quality at certain batches. In fact, Chanel is really known for this. Some of their Chanel lambskin is incredibly, incredibly delicate, while other lambskins from different batches are very, very robust and sturdy. So it kind of depends on the batch sometimes. But you'll notice that uh, in my Delvo, this, this buckle clasp is kind of a high... Uh, impact high usage area where you you're using it to open and close the buckle often and up and down and up and down and so i'm going to just show you an up close of the buckle the flap here and you'll see that there aren't really that many creases now the bag is from 2017 and i don't know how much it was used then but i use it quite a lot and you'll see that there is a little bit of creasing but just kind of the creasing that you'd expect from using a bag with this flap. There, There's a little bit of creasing and wrinkling, but not that much. And the back is also like almost immaculate. Like, look at that. So I think that the wrinkling, it depends on the bag, but it's not, it's not really something that a lot of people have to necessarily worry about. It's something that might come with box cap leather, but more often than not, you're having a bag that just looks so beautiful and so structured for a really, really long time. One thing I do want to mention really quick is that I did have a question a while back about the difference between box cap and smooth leather. And the difference is pretty simple, but a little bit also complex. So I'm not going to get too into it today. But the, the big difference is that smooth leather can mean 
anything. It can mean any leather that is smooth. Well, box cap is a very specific type of leather. It comes from a specific type of cow. The leather has been dyed a certain way, aniline dyed. It's been treated a certain way. It Box cap means a leather that has been that is generally more structured. It's going to have a beautiful shiny patina as it grows older. Like box cap itself means a very specific thing, whereas smooth leather could mean split leather. It could be genuine leather. It could be top grain leather. It could just be a leather that has had the pores sanded off. It could be leather that is a beautiful lambskin. It could be a na like smooth leather just means leather that's smooth. So that's the big difference between the two. Box cap is a specific thing. Smooth leather is just any leather that doesn't have a graining to it. But if you want me to get into more depth and more details about the difference between box cap and smooth leather, or even just different kinds of smooth leather, let me know in a comment down below and I can see about making a video for you. I hope that you enjoyed this introduction to box cap leather. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and ask. I'd love to hear your opinions about box cap leather. Do you have anything in box cap? Is it a leather that you think is beautiful? Or do you are you averse to the scratches? I'd love to hear about it. And if you like this video and you're interested in more Let's Talk Leather videos, please give this a like. It super duper helps the algorithm. And subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.